As someone who's been on many dates, I think this video strikes me as very interesting. But can we agree that a movie date is actually D tier due to the fact that if you're taking somebody out on a first date to the movies, you're probably not that interested in them. You're more interested in the movie. And like, sure, you could talk about the movie after the date. But during the date, you're all you're both just watching the movie. Like it doesn't even really count as a date. Let's get into it. Today, I'm going to rank every single date idea that I can think of. Hopefully, this helps those of you that are unsure about what to do for a first date and also those of you that are already in a relationship but have run out spice of ideas it up, baby. because it's always good to spice things up. Reasons. Now, the truth of the matter is all Hell date yeah. ideas can be good. It really depends on what you and yeah. your date enjoy, but yeah. it wouldn't be a tier list video if I didn't have some sort of ranking system. So the four Bro. things I'm going to use to rank each of these date ideas today are number one, how casual is it? Mm. This refers to how much effort is needed to yeah. set up and go on such a date casual i mean it takes a little bit of effort because you still got to match up uh oh are you clear for today no i'm busy today oh uh, what about next week oh i got something going on next week so they're all going to be a bit challenging unless there's that netflix date where one of you go to each other's house for the first Dates are usually better for first and second dates as they are a lower time commitment and seem more natural, which makes your mm. date feel more comfortable. Number two, how much rapport can be built on such a date? This means how much talking, eye contact, and light touching will naturally and occur. That's why this is crucial for furthering any romantic relationship. Fellas, when you first meet a girl for the first time, go for the hug. Do not go for the handshake. Go for the hug. Number three, how fun is it? How likely will you and your date laugh and smile? Because of course you want your date to look back on this day with fond memories. And finally, number four, how flexible is it? Meaning, uh, does it allow you to do other stuff before I, or after the date? Because the uh, more things uh, you do with someone, the more rapport is built. With that being said, let's jump right in. So we'll start off with one of the most common date ideas, going to the movies. It's D. super casual, doesn't require much planning. Not it's on flexible here? because you can do something before and after. But the problem the is fuck? you can't really talk or even look at each other during a movie. So it's exactly. very hard to build any rapport, which is especially important early on in a relationship. You can do movies later on, but definitely not, not for a, a first, first date. or second date. So I'm going to put it into the B tier. If there was D on here, it'd be in the D tier. Next on the list is one of my old favorites, which is... Okay, we're going to pretend this is S A. B, C, D. The park. Whatever I used to bring all my dates to a park back when I was living in New York thing. City, and that's because it's which is the park? the park. I used to bring all my dates to a park back when mm, I was living in I think going to the park is a good that is definitely a good first date. Um for like a multiple dates, maybe not, but a good first date, I'd give it like a B tier. It's it's fine because when you go to the park. You guys are just hanging out, getting a little bit of exercise, but you guys can talk about the scenery, talk about, oh, how was your day? What was it like getting here? Stuff like that. And then it can spiral out to different events. So say it's getting hot. Hey, it's getting hot out here. You want to go grab, uh, grab some food. You want to go to the uh, cafe. So it can lead into other dates starting just from going outside and going to the park. So I'd give it a B tier. In New York City, and that's because it's very casual with tons of flexibility, right? Yeah. You can grab a bite nearby and, makes, and walk yeah. around while talking. And depending on what's in the park, you can do a bunch of different stuff. True. Like play on the swings or the swing. sit yeah, somewhere and exactly, enjoy a nice bro. view. There's a lot of opportunities to swings. build rapport while doing these things, too. but it really depends on what park you bring them to. So yeah. overall, I'd give this an A. Next up, damn, okay, an A tier? The list I mean, is grabbing okay. a meal together. Personally, I prefer Getting to grab food? a meal before I do another activity, like a walk in the park, but it's yeah. perfectly fine to just do. Like just straight up, hey, you want to go get food? Okay, if you want to go get lunch or want to go get dinner? Um, I think it is a, it could also be a B tier, maybe a C tier, because let's be honest, fellas, you know, a lot of women nowadays, they'll be like, yeah, let's go get lunch. You go get them lunch, you pay for their food, and they out. And which could be multiple reasons. Either they're not interested, but they're interested in free food. They're busy after the dinner. Or they just didn't like the date. So they'll take the food and they'll go. So uh, I think it could be like a C. It could be like a B. It, it depends. For a first date, I personally wouldn't advise it. But hey, do what you wish with your money. Lunch or dinner, if it's a... Men too. I just wanted to say women, but men too. Guys can be like, all right, thanks for the food. 
you know? first or second date. It gives you time to get to know the person, and it's also a low time commitment thing, so it comes off as very casual. Now, it's definitely built it's into to us to feel to closer to people that. that we share meals with, so you can build a good amount of rapport, but it really depends on your conversation skills. So overall, it depends I'll- on what they order on the menu. What if they order something like, "Let's, I want uh, the chicken wings and I want mustard on them, and you're going to be like, eh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I would rank this as a low A tier idea. Low A tier, so S A B. So he's saying B tier. As it's usually not that fun or memorable. And on top of that, you can't really do nothing after the dinner date because she's already eaten. What? Where are you gonna go next? After you eat, you're full. You're gonna want to go back home. So if she's not interested in you, you guys aren't going back to the same crib. On the other hand, you have going for street food. I would actually rank this street higher than just food. grabbing dinner. Street food is better because you don't really sit down for it. Um, it could be the same thing as the park, like the park, street food, a hot dog. If you're in Asia, you can get whatever. No. Because getting street food sure, usually chips. means that you're walking yeah. around a night market or some sort of street fair where there's tons of different food and things to do, which makes uh, the experience much more fun. I would rank this as a high A tier. I would give street food I would give it the same as the park, yeah. I would also give it an A tier. Because as all the benefits of sharing a meal while having a lot more activities that you can do together, but only if you can find a good spot. Next up on our list is going to a museum or an exhibit. This is now, a great idea that's... This depends on if she's really interested in that type of stuff. Because if she's not interested, she's not even... She's probably interested in you, but she's not going to be interested in the facts or the knowledge or all that. Maybe if you go to one of those cool interactive museums... Maybe you can get some cool points from that, but like a normal museum with like the paintings or the sculptures uh, or the exhibits, even then, like she could be like, man, this is boring. She'll be playing on her phone the whole time while you guys are on the date. So as a first date, it depends. Or you could get somebody that's really into museums and she knows all the facts and stuff like that. And she's just chatting your ear off about this and that. And if you really like her, you might really go with it. Or if you guys both like, you know, the museum and history and stuff. It could definitely work out, but overall, in general, I'm honestly going to have to give the museum like a C tier, honestly. It's not bad, but it could, it just depends on the person you're going with. On a first date, C tier. It's great for deep thinkers. Now, personally, I don't think this is a good first date activity unless Facts. you know for sure that your that date is interested it. in this yes. type of stuff. Because exactly, some right. people might find the entire experience boring. boring. If, however, you and your yep. date love talking about deep ideas and admiring art or history, then it's definitely something that could work. Yeah, it's it also work. pretty casual and flexible. So overall, I mean, you could you could say that, but at the same time, bro, you you go to the museum. Oh, we're not open today hey, you need to schedule this tour. We're not just going to let you in. And sometimes the price can be a bit much, like $20 to walk around and just look at shit. Like, no. I'll, I'll give it a high B. Yeah, Next no. up, we got going. So high, so B tier, he, he means C tier. For like a drink me. at a bar. Now, this is one of the most a drink common drink at a bar. I've actually never did that for a date. That's more like, hey, we're out at the club and then we get drinks. I've never been like, hey, you want to go get a drink at the bar? Like, bro, you're dealing with an alcoholic or a party girl or something like that. I don't really know where to rank this. If I was going to rank it on a, a date to actually get to know somebody, probably a, a C or a B. Because if they get wasted, sure, you might smash, right? If that's your goal, then yeah, sure. S tier all the way, brother. But if you're trying to get to know them, you might get to know the true them when they're drunk and they're wild. But at the same time, that could be a negative. What if you're drunk and she don't like the way you maybe you're an angry drunk or maybe you're too happy or something like that. Right. You don't. you're not really in control and they're not in control unless you guys both like chaos. So I, I don't know. I would give it a C or a B. But honestly, it just depends on a whole bunch of factors when it comes to alcohol and being out of your mind and the type of persona that comes out whenever you're plastered. See, in young adults, I know some of you mm. look down on the idea of getting intoxicated with someone else, but in many date. places around the world, <laughs> it's part of the culture, so it comes yeah, off as a very journey. casual date. Journey, now, yeah. alcohol lowers inhibitions, so it'll make both 100%. of you less anxious. This often leads to more playful touching and flirting, but you gotta and, make sure... And, but this is a date, bro. This isn't how to, how to smash. If this is how to smash, this is going in S tier. If this is... Oh, I want to see them again. Or maybe I want to build a relationship. For this, it's, it's, it's a wishy-washy, bro. It's not a guarantee. That's why I'm saying it's got to be a C or a B. 
Like it is wishy washy. There is no a hundred percent guarantee. If you take every girl out drinking, they're gonna be like, "Yeah, I want to um, be with you romantically." Sure that um, you and your date are pacing well, yourself. No. Don't binge drink because you don't want to be put in a situation where you or your date get too drunk. One to three drinks for the night is ideal. Now, personally, I would rank this in the mid A tier as it's a perfectly fun date idea at tripping. any point of a relationship, but only if you and your partner are this open to social drinks. You and your partner. This is not a first date. I thought this was a date, t like first date. Oh, is this a mix? If this is a mix, then sure. Okay, you and your girlfriend go get drinks. Then yeah, A tier, obviously. First date, hell no. Thank you. Next up, we have grabbing a coffee or tea, which is the classic. Bro, grabbing a coffee or a tea is like one of the most perfect things you can do. That is the absolute S tier because you're at the bar, or you're sorry, the bar. You're at the cafe. You're figuring out what they like to drink. You drink if you're drinking coffee, you know you're more aware. You guys are having a good time. The music in the cafes are usually good. They're relaxing, so they calm the nerves. You guys could talk to talk to each other, play on the phone, whatever. And then from the cafe, because cafes don't usually got actual food. They got like snacks. But then after that, you could be like, hey, you want to go get something to eat? Or hey, you want to go to the park? Or hey, you want to go do this or that? Go to the movies. After you go to the cafe, then you go to the movies is a good combination, right? Because you guys already got to know each other. Whatever, on the way to the movies, you could have a conversation and then the movies plays, whatever. You're not talking that much, but after the movie, you could talk about the movie and that could wrap up your whole day. You go to the cafe in the morning, go to the movies in the afternoon, and then by the time the movie's done, it's evening time. Then after that, you can go get some food or you guys can, you know, say your goodbyes or whatever. S tier. 15 minute date. This is by far the most casual of all date ideas and it's best used for a first date. Its purpose is to see if there's 100%. any chemistry at all. Now, this 100%. type of date is not fun later on in a relationship Fuck because no. at that point, it's not really even a other. date. I'm putting this into the low A tier because it's something that you can use early on in any relationship. It's so this is a combination tier list. I'm going to keep it how I've been saying it. S tier if it's a first date. If it's a secondary, like you guys are already dating, you guys want to like, yeah, you want to go get coffee? I mean, it's like, yeah, you just want to go get coffee. Then, yeah, sure. Like that's a, a, a B. Like, because like I said, it could spiral into other things, but you guys are already together. So like, yeah, like a B, whatever. It's the most Fine. casual of all dates. And it's a very flexible date idea that allows you to transition into something else later on yep. in the day if there yep. is chemistry. Yep. Next up, we got pottery or some sort of crafting activity where a you and your crafting partner activity, same thing. All these all these things that are uh, different, these all are required on if they're actually into that stuff. Now, this is better than museum because museum is just walking around, whatever. Pottery is a is a interactive experience, right? So th this could be their first time doing it and they're giving it their best. And if it's clay, you know, their hands are messy. Maybe they're girly girly. They're like, oh, my hands. Oh, it's on my whatever. You know, you guys are laughing and having a good time, right? So I would definitely see this as more of an A, higher than a uh, museum, 100%. As a secondary, like you guys already know each other, do something new. Hey, you want to go get pottery? Still an A. I think, yeah, A tier, definitely. I, I would put it there. If not, then B is fine. Go somewhere and make something together. This is quite the time investment because it can take a few hours to make whatever it is that you're trying to make. Word. And you also have to be quite focused on what's happening in front of you. Word? It takes hours to make that shit? Well, then never mind. Fuck what I just said. <laughs> I thought this was like, have fun, not even really try and make it, just like have fun and try your best. And it take like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Multi-hour event? It's going to be difficult, bro, because what if y'all not into each other? What if she's too loud or she's not really into it? If this takes multiple hours, bro, this is going to be hell. Now, there is some room to build rapport. You can joke around about whose cup looks better. But for the most part, you'll be focused on what's happening in front of you. Overall, I'd give this a mid B tier. It's a oh, decent date tier. idea, but only later on in a relationship. There is the tier. added bonus of creating something together that will remind you of the date. I once made a bowl with my girlfriend, and we still use it to this day. And every time we eat from that bowl, it brings memories. back some fond memories. Yeah. Similarly, we have... Yeah, so if it could work, definitely it could work the cooking class date which is something that i've gone on multiple times it's basically cooking the class, same as a cooking class and pottery damn near the same thing except you're learning from somebody else and now if they already know how to cook 
it could be interesting if you don't. It, it's interesting if one knows how to cook and one does not know how to cook. Or if both do not know how to cook. If both do know how to cook, then I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. I would say it's like a... If you guys both know how to cook, then that's great. But I think for like a first date, if one knows and one does not know, it can be a teaching learning experience, creating more of a bond. Hey, am I doing it right this way? Oh, should I do it like this? Oh, how much? Yada, yada. If you guys both know what you're doing, you guys are probably just going to have a casual conversation or talk about food and stuff like, oh, how'd you learn how to do this dish? Yada, yada. So I, don't, I feel like you don't even need to go to a cooking class for this. You could just like, hey, you want to cook something with me? Oh, you like cooking? I like cooking too. Let's go cook something. Bam. A crafting date. Personally, I like this more. Oh, I didn't say where I would rank it. For a first date, for a first date, overall, B or a C tier. B or a C tier because it's different, bro. How many girls get asked, hey, do you want to go to a cooking class? It's different. It catches the mind. After you guys been dating, you're like, hey, you want to go to a cooking class? Still interesting. Romantic. Oh, cool. Let's try it out. Never done it before. So I definitely see why it could be B tier, but I can see why it could also be C tier. There's so many different variables. Because I like to compete with my girlfriend to see who's the better chef, but overall everything is about the same. So I'm giving it a slightly higher B tier right above crafting. Next up, we have ice skating. This is a somewhat casual date idea. That I think ice skating, indoor ice skating, if you guys are both beginners, whatever, definitely could be a fun experience. Um, lots of funny moments could happen on this date. Of course, falling being one of them. Mm, it is a bit pricey, but I mean, it's a bit pricey and it's like an hour. So overall, ice skating as a date for a first date, ice skating is like B. As a you know, you guys are in a relationship. Hey, you want to go ice skating? Sure. That could also be a B or it could be an A because it's a different experience for both of you and you both been together. So a B or an A, I can see. That's great at building rapport because most people are not great at skating, which means there's the potential for a lot of light touching if you or your partner is a noob. True. You can hold their hand to steady their balance. True. You can True. stay by them as a safeguard if they're about to fall. Stuff like that. And usually you'll find skating rings in or near malls, which gives the added flexibility different, different of doing something before exactly. or after the date. So exactly. overall, I'm going to rank this as a mid A tier. It's not mm -hmm. something that you'd usually do for a first date as it I is a sort of that. mental commitment, especially if they've never done it before. But it is pretty good for a second date onwards, in my yeah. opinion, as yeah. it can lead to a very fun and memorable experience. Next up, we got going to a sports event. This is similar to going. Going to a sports event is kind of like going to the movies, except this time you can actually talk during downtime, you know, halftime, whatever. Go get food. You're in a different environment. You're in a loud environment. You're in a competitive environment. So you can see, oh, does she really care about the team or is she quiet? If everybody's yelling and screaming, is she like that too? I definitely think for a first date, it's a bit pricey to do this. And it's definitely interesting, right? How many people get asked out on... Does you want to go to the football game, baseball game, whatever? I would say overall, and then an extension relationship wise, you want to go to the game. If she's, if you guys never done that in your relationship and you're like, hey, you want to go to the game? I'm pretty sure she's going to be like, oh, sure. Why not? Like, yeah. So I think it could be an A tier as well, but it's definitely an interesting A tier. So I, I think so. I think, I think this could be an A tier. Going to the movies as your focus is on the event in front of you. But there mm -hmm. is this There's added a bonus of, of feeling the energy of the loud. crowd, which yeah. does not happen at the movies. This yes. does make it more fun, but only if you and your date are both fans of the sport. This date mm -hmm. is a pretty big time commitment. Well, it doesn't even have to be part of the sport. This could be like, hey, uh, the, like just the team energy. They could not even be interested in the sport at all it could turn them into a fan of the sport or if they're just like i don't like sports then why would they go on the date you know what i'm saying and so overall i'm gonna <laughs> rank it as a b tier idea it's slightly okay. higher than movies because you can build Damn, more rapport and it's tier. also a more memorable and the reason why i'm saying s a b c d the reason why i'm saying that because 
Some people think there's no such thing as a bad date idea. There absolutely is. There is absolutely bad date ideas, 100%. So yeah, that's why I'm, I'm pretending this is a C and this is a D, because there are dates that are less than a, a B. A hundred percent. Global experience. Now, before Movies we rank the next date idea, I'd like to give a quick shout out to shout the out sponsors. To sponsors. Of hey, that's what's up, bro. Get that back. Which is basically the same as today. Uh, now, back to the topic at hand. We got the zoo. Which is the zoo. The zoo is big. Lots of exercises. Different animals they probably never seen before. Usually, zoos have some type of like cool little gimmick to go with them as well. I think a zoo date. And a lot of girls like animals. A lot of people in general love animals. Um, I think a zoo date, and it could be a bit pricey, and they might be like, hey, we don't have tickets today. Um, and zoos are usually out of the fucking way. <laughs> you got to go to the zoo, um, which could be a bit pricey. Um, so factoring all that in, and you're walking around outside, it's not like, the, it's not like um, going to the park. You can go to the park and then immediately leave. You go to the zoo and you're at the penguin exhibit. You got to walk your ass all the way past everything you already seen or you got to continue on because there's no other way really out. There's different routes, but it's still a long way to the one exit or um, if there's multiple exits, that's cool. But it's usually just one entrance, one exit. Um, so overall, factoring this in, I'd give this a C tier. Um, if you guys are already in a relationship, I give it a B, maybe an A, sure, but. Um, depending on if they really like animals or not, and you, if you guys have done it before, um, going to the zoo is probably something you do in a relationship like once every couple years, maybe once a year. So yeah, overall, I give it, I give it a, a a C or a B. Which is basically the same as going to the park, but there's usually more stuff to do at zoos. But it mm -hmm. does feel slightly less casual than the park. Maybe mm -hmm. it's the fact that you have to pay to go in or because you have to wait on lines. But yeah, overall, wait, it's yeah. still a great spot in my opinion. So I'm giving it a slightly lower ranking than the park. Next so A, you're going to give going to the zoo an A for a brand new date. Not factoring in the travel, not factoring in the costs. As a first date, you're giving the zoo an A. I don't think so, bro. Next up, we got the mall, which is by far the, the most... The mall is the most casual, most lame experience if they've like it if it's if it's a town that they live in they've been to that mall before several times this is like a terrible not a terrible okay there's a lot of shit you could really do in the mall right but i, I the only reason why i would say it's good to be like hey you want to go to the mall for a first date is if you're young like you're a teenager there you go you get dropped off by your parents you're in the mall that'd be it but as a grown ass adult going to the mall for a first date somewhere you guys both been before several times, it could be a good or a bad thing. Later on in a relationship, nobody's really like, hey, you want to go to the mall for a date? It's like, hey, they have a thing going on in the mall. You want to go? Or, hey, I need to go to the mall to get this. It's never like, let's go to the mall unless there's like some type of event. Like here in Thailand, there's several of like Sunday market is at the mall. But Sunday market is the same shit every Sunday. So it does get old. Um, overall, the mall, I could say with all the factors going into it, even though I said it was terrible, I could see mall being a B tier because there is so many different things you can do at the mall and it can springboard to other things. Go to the mall, you walk around, you're talking, you're hanging out. Go eat. You eat at the mall. You want to do something ice skating in the mall, arcade in the mall, get food in the mall. Right. But overall, in the, at the end of the day, she's going to be like, yeah, I had a good time. We just went to the mall. That's it. So and the mall is pricey, too. Overall, it'd be like a B. I could see a C and I could see why people could say an A. But overall, I'm going to say a B. Just flexible of all date ideas. There's food, arcades, bowling alleys, sometimes even skating rings and movie theaters. Going to the mall. But it's a place that you have both been several times. So the uniqueness factor is out of the window. It's extremely casual because Jump people hang out in the mall room. all the time. This plus the unmatched flexibility makes it, in my opinion, one of the best spots for a first date or any date in general, which is why it deserves a spot in the S tier.
I don't agree. But that's fine. Then we got going to the spa or getting a massage together. Now, the spa is definitely... It could be... This is something you do with somebody you've already been around. This is not a first date thing because you're in the spa. You guys are not usually in the same room. If you are in the same room, unless you're rich, there's going to be other people there as well. So you guys aren't going to really conversate on a first date while both of you get a massage, even if you're in the same room, because there's probably going to be other people. In like a massage first date, bro, you got to be balling. You got to be goddamn big baller, bro. So you can get private rooms. You guys can both get massages and she has to be comfortable with that. So uh, shit, first date, I'm going to go ahead and say C tier, brother. You ain't really going to get much. You, you're going for the massage and she's there just because she's there to tag along and you're probably going to pay for her as well. I mean, but if you invited her out, then I mean, I guess you have no issues paying for her massage. But bro, a massage for a first date, absolutely terrible. I'm going to give it a C. It, it could it could be worse, right? Like if you're a big baller, C tier. Yeah, you guys got separate. I mean, you guys got the same room. No other guests. If you're not and you guys are all together, you guys aren't really talking. You're enjoying the massage and you can talk about it afterwards while chilling in the lounge in a bathrobe, drinking on some water. But that, that, that's about it, bro. But if you guys been together, you're like, hey, let's go get a massage together. I mean, it's cool. You guys don't really need to talk that much. It's fine. You guys have been together. So overall, I give it a C for a first date. If you guys been together, I give it a... A, B, O, A, or B. Uh, yeah. This is something that you should probably only do much later on in a relationship as it can be a pretty big you know time commitment. And you can't really talk or even look at each other when you're getting Unless massages. You're rich. So there's not much rapport that rich. can be built. So overall, I'm going to have to put this in the low B tier. You put that shit in D tier. Respectable. Um, I think massage is honestly worse than the movie. Next up, we got a couple's dance class. Now, this is a pretty big jump outside of one's comfort zone, so it's something you should say for much later on in a relationship. But if you do go on this dance class, like Zumba, it can be fun, right? I think overall, for a new date, she has to be comfortable with dancing for one, right? So if she's comfortable with dancing and she's meeting somebody new, that means she can already dance. Or her confidence is really high and she's just she'll try it out maybe she's cool right new date dancing is so many factors into it and the music she might not like it because there's different type of dances zumba there's piano dancing there's ballet whatever overall bro like dancing brand new date i'm gonna give it a c if you guys have been together, you guys, yeah, you want to go dance? Go dance to the fucking club. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, so I feel like that would be like a B. You know, you guys have been together. It's a B. But, you know, you guys seen each other dance before. Why do you need to go to the dance class? Like, you, she's seen me dance in my underwear. I've seen her dance in the club. So, I don't know. It's like a B, C, whatever. A, maybe. I don't fucking know. Like dance class. Okay. This date is by <laughs> far one of the most rapport building dates out there because yeah, you and your true. partner literally have to be in sync in body and mind. Oh, well, you talking about some fancy shit, bro? I'm over here thinking Zumba exercise dancing. You feel me? I don't fucking know. In order to execute the moves properly. So overall, I'd give this a low A tier because it can I only guess, be done bro. when you're already very comfortable with each other. Then we got karaoke. Now, this is a... Karaoke, bro. Karaoke. You figure out her favorite choice of music. You can build her courage. If you build her courage, she'll sing better. Clap for her, whatever. Good rapport building. Overall, karaoke can lead to other things. If she's comfortable singing in front of you, she's probably comfortable just hanging out in general. First date. First date, I'll give it a... I give it a... I give it a... Give it an A. Something different. You want to go sing karaoke? Sure. Maybe she doesn't even want to sing. Maybe she wants to listen to you sing. Give it an A. Hey, it's good. It's a good building. And later on in a relationship, same thing. You want to go sing karaoke? You don't even have to go out. You can just fucking boot up karaoke on YouTube. I mean, so, give me an A. Pretty fun date idea. You have the option. 
Bro, I remember I got high uh, on an edible. I put on Love Sosa. I was rapping that shit. I felt like I was in a music video with the old block. ...to get drinks, which bang, can bang. lead to a wild night, or you can do it sober. But either way, doing karaoke usually sober. requires a fair amount of report to have already been built. Most people feel Back. shy singing in front of others, so Back. it's definitely not something you do for a first date. But later on... Well, if uh, we're, going on the, we're going on the fact that they said yes. We're going on the fact that they say yes. That's why I was like a zoo date. Like, bro, you got to do so much shit, but let's just say they say yes. Same thing with karaoke. Let's say they say yes. It's not that expensive to do karaoke. You can do karaoke for free at your place or her place, whatever. But to go out and do it, I think would be decent team, team bonding exercise. On maybe for a third or fourth date, it's a great idea. It also depends on the culture. There are some countries where it's yeah, perfectly love, normal to do karaoke bro. and others where it's much more rare. Philippines, bro, they love karaoke, bro. So I'm giving Thailand, they love karaoke, bro. it a low A tier ranking as it's quite niche. Then we got the beach. Now, this is a pretty big commitment. Depend bro, what the fuck? <laughs> the beach? Damn, bro, you live in LA or something where the beach is just down the street? Bro, I live over here in the mountains. Ain't no motherfucking beach here. But if you both live in a place where the beach is, you guys both been to the beach several times. It's nothing exciting. It's nothing new. There's a bunch of weirdos on the beach on top of that. It might be hot as shit. The sand gets everywhere. Unless you plan it on doing a picnic with the girl on a first date. Going to the beach is pretty eh. It's good to, so you know what her body looks like and she knows what yours looks like. But that's about it. I'm going to say the beach is honestly a pretty bad date. I'm going to go ahead and give the beach a C tier. And sometimes there's a shit ton of people there on top of it. Not even worth it. If you guys don't like each other, like, you're going to probably be sitting, like, if you're planning to go to the beach, you're going to be there, like, damn near four hours. Like, at least four hours. You're going to be chilling on the beach, right? Now, if you're on the beach and you guys are both, like, surfers or something, you're doing an actual activity and not just what this picture is, running up and down on the fucking beach. Only people that are in romantic relationships do some type of shit like this. Romantic, or uh, you guys have been together, going to the beach, sure, sure, B tier. But no, if you guys don't even know each other, you're like, hey, you want to go to the beach? Bro, this is a fucking C tier. You have so many, all these other cool dates, and you're like, let's go to the beach. Let's go ahead and go to Santa Monica. Like, no, dude, no. Depending on how far no. away the beach is, and also the fact that you have to bring a bunch of stuff, like a change of clothes, towels, and sunscreen. Personally, I don't find Fuck going no. to the beach fun if it's a one-on-one -on -one date. It's usually Fast. more fun Family. for me when there's a larger group of people, so mm -hmm. I'm giving it a high B tier. As it's What the fuck? And that's exactly why S, A, B, C, C tier. Bit hard I to agree, pull bro. off and definitely not for a first bro. date unless you literally live next to a beach or if there's something like. Even if you guys both live next to the beach on a first date, you guys have probably already been to the beach several times. An amusement park next to it that you can go to, which brings us to the amusement, an amusement park. Yeah, you talking about Santa, Santa Monica, bro. What are you talking about? Not every beach has an amusement park. What the fuck? Bro. Now, this is. <laughs> Bro, I've done been to several beaches in several. Oh, sorry, I've been I've been to several beaches in several countries, bro. Not every beach has a goddamn amusement park next to it. Are one of my favorite date ideas these days. It is a pretty big time what commitment, that, so you shouldn't really use it for a first date. Uh, the arcade. I mean, there's not many arcades in general. Oh, he said the fair or some shit. What do you say? Which brings us to the amusement park. The amusement park. See, the amusement park got to be in season, right? So, like, the Texas State Fair, that's got to be in season. The Texas State Fair is only, like, once a year. I think it'd be great. It'd be great, right? Because it's once a year. Maybe she hasn't been to it before. Even if she has been to it, it only comes once a year, right? Unless he's talking about an amusement park that's always there, then even then, if it's always there... I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe, but if it's like once a year amusement park, I think that could be fucking solid. But let's just say it's always there just so we can just like make it like point blank. If it's an amusement park that's always been there on a first date, the amusement park is a solid B tier because there's several different games. There's food there. Even if she's been there before, maybe she hasn't played all the games, right? Maybe she hasn't ridden on all the rides. There's a chance to ride different rides or play different games. You see where her skill level is on certain games like whack-a-mole or throw the dart at the balloon, right? As a relationship date, it's also pretty good. 
also a pretty good date because it's like, hey, let's just go to a music bar. Let's do something different, right? There's food there. Parking's going to be a bitch, but it might be far on top of that. Um, but yeah, I think B tier or low A is definitely a, a good a good overall i think the fair will be pretty good even if she's been there before there's so many different things she probably never tried all of it now this is by far one of my favorite date ideas these days it is a pretty big time commitment so it you is, shouldn't really use it for a first a date but it scores high in all can. three of the other but aspects it's extremely can. fun with tons of flexibility because there's endless things to do and there's yeah. plenty of time to talk while you wait for rides nice. or eat. And even though it's usually yeah. a huge time commitment, it does come off as extremely casual. And and it's fun. So even if the date didn't go good, you could probably be like, yeah, I still had fun, though. I was at the fair. Playful, because it's essentially a giant playground. So nice. this is definitely going into the S tier for me. I'm, I'm the, S tier, I am on, honestly, I'm totally fine with him putting it in S tier. I'm totally fine. On the other hand, you have the water park, which is basically an Boy, amusement. Oh, my God. I love the water park. For a first date, it's awesome. It's way better than the fucking beach, right? Because there's several different things to do. There's food already there. I think the water park, honestly, bro, that could be a high A as well. Um, personally speaking, right? Because even if she don't have fun at the water park, you will, my guy. So first date, let's go to the water park. It's going to be a bit pricey getting in. But once you get in, the food's going to be pricey as well. Finding a place to actually put your stuff. If it's only you two, who's going to watch your stuff? You're going to put your bag in the locker. Mm. You get to see her in the bikini. She gets to see you with your shirt off. You know, overall, first date, I think, could be definite. And I, I'm trying to get, get rid of my bias, right? I'm trying to get rid of my bias. I already said I love the, music, uh, the water park. But overall... I think the water park would be lower than the amusement park because the amusement park, there's less of the, the exercise involved. The games at the, there's more games. Swimming is an exercise. Even if you're playing in the water, you're going to get tired. You're going to get more tired at the water park because you're swimming around in the water. You're in the slide, whatever. And then you got to walk all the way across. You want to go up the big one. You got to climb all the way up the stairs. Like there's going to be more exercise involved in the water park. And it's going to lead to the day ending quicker than in the amusement park. So I'm definitely going to have to say a oh, water park is going to be a, a high B for me. High B, but it's got to be below amusement park. Amusement park, but with water. So it has all the benefits of the amusement park, but it's an even bigger commitment mentally because you have to wear more revealing clothes, which a lot of people would not be comfortable with. Well, they have the bikini that like covers like damn near everything besides your legs and arms so early on in the relationship that, that. so it's definitely not something oh i didn't even think about the relay yeah later on in a relationship bro water park is absolutely phenomenal you guys are both comfortable with each other comfortable with each other bro uh, water park and you guys are already in a relationship this year i'm not even gonna do for a first <laughs> date but overall not i put it count. in the high a tier it's same for amusement park if you guys are already dating amusement park is s tier the fun but maybe only from the third date onwards then we got the escape room, which is basically where you put. I've never did the escape room date, but I feel like it'd be very exciting. But it could be very frustrating if you're very competitive like I am. So if I can figure it out and she can't, I'm going to be annoyed or vice versa. Maybe she'll be annoyed or maybe she'll think it's cute. Overall, I think you're going more for the environment than the date itself. You could team on, but as a first date, I don't think the escape room is it. Later on in a relationship, I think it, it definitely is because it, it shows more of your teamwork and your chemistry if you guys know each other. On a first date, escape room, I'm going to give it like a C tier. But escape room and you guys have already been together definitely can be an A tier. Definitely. Put in a room and have to solve puzzles to get out. It's only a one hour commitment and it's usually located in a mall. So there's tons of flexibility, but mm -hmm. it's an acquired taste. Some Yeah, on top of that. And you guys don't even know each other. Right? People enjoy it. Others don't. Personally, I love going to these even outside of dating. Like if I'm hanging out with someone for the first time, I usually ask them to do an escape room with me. When you're doing one, wow. you're forced to work as a team to overcome obstacles. So it's amazing at building rapport. It's also very memorable because you're put in a high stakes environment that's totally different than anything you'd normally experience in real life. So overall, I'd give this a high A tier. Next, we got bowling. I think this is the most casual of the sports. Bowling, bowling, bowling. Bowling, bowling. Where would I put bowling? 
I think bowling is more of a party thing. You don't go one on one to go bowling. But if you do, for a first date, this is probably. Bro, this is probably a, 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 a it depends on the person, but overall, it's probably a C tier. I was going to put it in D, but some people absolutely love bowling regardless. Right. But just you two together. First date. You two could definitely have fun and strike out. You feel me? Have fun. But she might not like it or she's bad at it. So now she's feeling self-conscious because she's getting gutters and you're over here like doing pretty well. Like Even if you try not to do fucking good, you might actually do good. And if you guys are both doing bad, then OK, cool. You guys are both doing bad at a competitive event and it's just one on one. A new date, I would say C tier because you can have fun. You can definitely enjoy it as a first date. 100% you could. 100%. But you could also not have fun on it as well. Uh, there's food at the bowling alley. The music's cool. You can put whatever, some, some bowling alleys, you can put whatever song you want to put on there. Um, so bowling alley overall, overall for a brand new date, I'm going to give it a C tier. If you guys are already in a relationship um, and you two are like, let's go bowling, I guess it could be a B. Because even if she's not having a good time, which is why I would put it in D, she still likes you. So even if you do good, she's going to cheer you on, even if she's doing bad, vice versa. So that's why I think it could be in B. I definitely think people could put this in S and a relationship. Like if you guys both love bowling, you guys are both really good. You know, definitely fucking S tier, very competitive. Yeah, definitely S tier if that is your relationship partner. But we're, we don't know your relationship. So we're going to go ahead and just put it in B for relationship. And then if they don't know you, it's a C. Sports related dates, right? It's fairly easy to learn. And unlike other sports, you don't constantly have to move. So there's a ton of time to talk. There's even room for some friendly competition. So you can actually build a good amount of rapport easily. On top of that, there's usually food and drinks. So you can share a meal, which is always a plus. It's also not much of a time commitment. And it's pretty flexible depending on where the bowling alley is located. So overall, I'd give this a middle A tier. Then Boy, holy shit. He is not thinking about first date, is he? Like, this is definitely not first date, uh, like, A tier. Every, like, you know what I hear when I hear A tier date? Every person that sees his video, they're going to think, oh, let me just take the girl to the bowling alley. Bro, I guarantee you, it's not always going to be an A tier experience. It's not. That's not how bowling works. That is not how something like that works one-on-one. -on -one. It's not going to be an A tier experience. It can, it can fluctuate from S all the way to fucking D. That's why it cannot be an A. It would have to be a C or a B. And you're being very lenient on B for a first date. All right, bro, it's your list. And we have the arcade, which is one of my favorite date spots. It's arcade is fire, different types of games, casual. You can go from Tekken 7 to very, like, very competitive. She don't know what she's doing. She just pressing buttons, and you can actually win pressing buttons on Tekken. So she might end up liking it. I actually took a girl to uh, the arcade we played tech and tag and she enjoyed it and uh, specifically chose chose tag so i can switch out and then she can play so you guys are playing together um then you can got like the horse riding whatever and then you got the of course the basketball classic classic basketball overall but i mean there's not really that many foods in the arcade unless you go to something like chuck e cheese or something like that and chuck e cheese isn't everywhere um but like a normal arcade the arcade is usually in the mall, so you could get food from the mall. But let's just say the arcade in general. New date, an arcade could honestly, and I love arcade, I love video games, right? But overall, it's probably going to be a, a, it's going to probably be a B, right? For a first date, it's probably going to be a B. And the only thing really saving it is there's a variety of games. From casual, the, the air hockey, from air hockey, all the way up to Street Fighter V. You see what I'm saying? Or Street Fighter Four arcade cabinet, whatever. So definitely a variety, and you can see if she's played games before and stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely, and it'd be a new experience. So yeah, I could say B, right? But if you guys have already been together, and you know she's not into arcades, then I don't know why you would take her. But if she's in the arcades, then yeah, that's easy. That's an easy S tier because you guys both like it. You guys can both go to the, do the air hockey and the basketball, right? So and there's usually karaoke in the arcade, at least in Southeast Asia. In Asia in general, the arcade, there's video games and there's karaoke because karaoke is very popular. So several different things you could do. It could go from S tier if you guys know each other to, to B tier. 
It's actually where I took my girlfriend for our first date. It's very casual and comes off as very playful, and it's almost always in or near a mall nowadays. So there's tons of flexibility. There are tons of- What? The fuck are you talking about, bro? And it's almost always in or near a mall nowadays. Bro, malls have been getting rid of arcades for years now. You're crazy. So there's tons of flexibility. There are tons of games you can play, which can also lead to some friendly competition. And if it's one of those arcades that gives you tickets, you can even win a prize that gives you a memorable little stuffed animal or something along those lines. They don't this give is the perfect date. And Chuck E. Cheese, they give you a receipt. At any point in a relationship. So in my eyes, it deserves a high spot in the S tier. Bias. Next up is rock climbing. Now, this is definitely not something. Boy, hell no. I would not take no girl rock climbing on the first date because one, she's probably not even strong enough to do the shit. Um, fuck no, bro. That is a absolute D. She's going to probably hate it. While you're having fun climbing the rock wall, she's going to be on her phone. Absolute D. Would not do it. Unless she's an exercise girl. If you, like, we're going off base like the, the, the normal. Maybe she'll try it. Maybe she'll have fun. Okay. Sure. First date, maybe a C. I'm going to, I want to go with D, but I could say low C, high D. You guys have been in a relationship together and you're like, let's go rock climbing. It's going to be something different, potentially be interesting and fun. But the, like, it's rock climbing, bro. Like, I, I, I'd give it a B. Honestly, I like rock climbing. I think it's fun. It's a great exercise. Something you should but do B. for a first date, unless you and your date both happen to love it. I'm saying this because it's quite athletic. the workout. Every time I go Max. rock climbing, I end up being covered in sweat with yeah. extremely sore forearms. Yeah. So it's quite the ask for a first date. There also isn't much time for building rapport as you're mostly yeah. focused on the wall on in the, front of you. So overall, yeah. I'm putting this in the mid B tier. Then we okay, got clubbing. Now, personally, I love going. Going to the club on a first date is honestly absolutely normal. Um, but it's like almost the same with drinking, honestly. It's like you're going to the club, you're really just like vibing to the music, but you're getting drinks. There's no food. Uh, so maybe you can get food afterwards if they're not, you know, gone because all the drinking. Right. And then, hell, you in the club, you might be doing some drugs. You feel me? You know, I don't judge. You do what you want. I know people that used to be sniffing cocaine off the toilet fucking seat. You know what I'm saying? It, it happens. It's the club, bro. But for a first date, if she's not a club person. But we're going to say she is because she, she agreed to go. If she's not a club person or it, it depends on the club on top of it, the music, bro. I, bro, I go to the clubs out here in Southeast Asia, bro. They playing shit like YMCA. That ain't me, bro. I'm trying to hear some. I'm trying to hear some fucking hard music. I'm trying to hear some shit I could throw up gang signs to. And I'm not even gang affiliated. You feel me? So it just depends on a lot of a lot, a lot of variation of varieties. I've been on club dates and it was cool, right? We both didn't drink. We were just watching people get drunk and twerking on each other, kissing each other, whatever. And overall, I think a club date is like for a first date can be a, it can be a B tier. I think normally it could be a, a tier depending on if you guys are both young and crazy, right? But I think it should be like a B tier. You guys have been in a relationship together. You wanna go to the club tonight. That's fine. You guys both get dressed up. It depends on the club and all that type of shit. That definitely could be an A tier, even an S tier. Guaranteeing. If you guys have both been together, you guys both dress up, look good together, go dance together. Definitely can be an S tier night. But overall, I'm going to say A tier for a relationship. And uh, what I say? Did I say C tier for the club uh, on the first go? Yeah, yeah C tier for a first go. And an A tier if you guys been together. Into the club, but it's one of those things that only certain people like. Usually nice. those who enjoy crowds, drinking socially, or dancing. If your date isn't really into any of that, then there are better options out there. But if they are, then it's one of the funnest ways to end the night. There's tons of flexibility because you can do a bunch of stuff before. Bro said in the night. Bro, I thought this was the first date. The first date is the club. What is he talking about? Going to the club, like grabbing dinner together. What is he talking when about? When you're at the club, there's tons of rapport you can build. If they are, then it's one of the funnest ways to end the night. There's tons of flexibility because you can do a bunch of stuff before going to the club. Bro, this is, this, is a, this is the fucking first date. What are you talking about? Like grabbing dinner together. When you're at the club, there's tons of rapport you can build, tons of light touching that occurs from dancing together. 
Yeah, Over- yeah she put her booty well, on. Well, it's not <laughs> great for a first date, but from the second date onwards, it can be quite fun. So I'm putting it in the A tier. The same. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? And goes for a party. We're what talking about fuck? something like a house party. Now, the main difference between this... A house party with just you two? On a first date, bro? On a first date and it's you two and it's a house party. If this is a house party with guests, does that really count? I don't know. Okay, let's do multiple. If it's a first date house party you and her this is like uh it all depends on you bro it all depends did you get the chips out do you got the the music ready whatever is it set whatever but overall let's just call it a a, a freaking c plus high c low b because i don't know later on in a relationship a house party just you and her a, a, a b i guess house party you invite your friends and you invite her or a random bunch of people. If it's like Project X, you feel me? A whole bunch of people show up. You and her, it's the same shit as the club, except you're in a house. So your stuff is getting messed up. <laughs> but if it's with your friends and her, you're going to introduce a, a girl you just met to your friends. Okay? Sure. I don't fucking understand this first. I don't understand this at all. If you guys are going to a house party that neither one of you have been to, it's like, hey, I'm inviting this girl to this house party. Guarantee, if you're getting invited to a house party, you know somebody there. But okay, let's give that let's give that a fucking a, a C or a B. If you guys are in a relationship and you guys go to a house party, that's an automatic S or an A because it's the same shit as the club. It's the exact same thing as the club. And clubbing is that people at house parties usually know each other. So it requires yes. even more of a mental yes. commitment from your date to want yes. to go with you, assuming they don't know anyone there. So it's something you shouldn't do until much later on in a relationship, which is why I'm putting it in the low A he put tier. In B, he put in and B then tier. we got going to a comedy show or some sort of live show, which comedy, is sort of like a movie. Comedy show? Okay, because you said comedy show, homie. A comedy show can be absolutely great and it could absolutely go bad depending on the comedian and stuff like that. But you guys are both being able to really just laugh. You can't really talk that much because comedians don't like it when you're talking during their set. So I definitely don't think this is a first date material. If you're doing this for a first date. You're not really interested in the date. You're interested in the comedian. You said, let me bring a girl with me. Um, I'm going to give that a C tier. If you guys are already in a relationship and you guys are going to a comedian that you both like, okay, cool. That's an S or an A, right? If you guys don't know the comedian or if it's like anybody can pop up on stage, it can vary from, uh, honestly, it can vary from a B to an S. Right? I just think because you guys are already in a relationship, your night isn't really dictate your relationship or whatever. It's not really dictated on the date itself. It's more just something to go do. So it could be a B from, from a B B, but a bit less casual, but also a bit more memorable, especially if the comedian points you out and makes fun of you as a couple. Overall, I think <laughs> it's better saved for later on in the relationship where you don't have to talk as much, but can enjoy some laughs together. I'd actually rank this slightly lower than the movies because it's less casual and a bit more of an acquired taste. Next up, we got a couple's painting class. Painting class, first date, painting class, you want to go paint something? Um, I can see this being, uh, honestly, overall, like, because there's nothing really wrong with it. It is what it is. It's painting. Um, it's an activity to get her off her phone, to get you off your phone. And you guys just, you know, you guys probably won't even really talk that much because you're probably focused on the art, I guess. But a first date, okay, let's give it a, let's give it a B. Uh, it's something different. It's unique. Um, after the paint, you could guys, you guys got like wash up i guess but i mean you guys can go eat and stuff like that <laughs> i don't know how long painting class is but i guess it's either going to be a c or a b for a first date if you guys are in a relationship i give it a, a fucking an a or a b i guess now in my eyes this is basically the same as crafting as you're focused on what's happening in front of you and you end up with a piece of art that you can hang up on your wall for the memories. Although I'll place it slightly higher than crafting because it's usually less of a time commitment. Then we got an interesting one, which is inviting them over. This inviting them over for a first date all depends on you. 
all depends on what you got planned and what your intention. So I can't really grade that. Um, but it's a date. It's a date. If we're going to grade it, I'm going to go ahead and just throw it in the in the B or C tier, right? B or C tier, I guess. If you guys are in a relationship, this is absolutely like a D or a C, bro. Been to your house several times. How the fuck? This is incredibly hard yeah. to pull off for a first date because it... Even if you did, like, crank out the freaking salad and you put some cheese on it or whatever, the croutons, and you put on some great music and you got some wine, all that effort could have been put into actually going out and doing it at a restaurant and not doing it at home. So unless you can't, you know, whatever, can't afford it, whatever. But as a relationship, bro... Fuck no, it's like a D. This is a D or a C. See if you're see if you're creative enough. But this is like a D. Required. Yeah, as a first date, it, it's higher, barely. C plus or a B low B. There's a lot of trust. <laughs> But from the second date <laughs> onward, it's definitely doable. Now, whenever you bring someone over, you're sharing the intimate part of your life with them. You're showing them what type of person you are. So it's very memorable and it builds a ton of rapport. There's also a ton of flexibility depending on what you decide to do in the house. You can cook time, a meal yeah. together, play games together, or even Netflix and chill. So overall, I place this in the low S tier because it's one of the most intimate dates but it usually requires several dates before your partner is comfortable doing i thought we were talking about bro you guys are together or not this first date you're gonna give it s tier because they come over and you guys might have a good time and might fuck this then we got canoeing or kayaking or any other water sport like this Canoeing or kayaking, are they scared of water, but whatever, fuck it. Um, it's an exercise. It is an exercise. This shit is not relaxing. Um, even if you guys are in the same boat doing it and talking, whatever, it is still an exercise. Uh, it is different um, just because it's different and you guys are together. If you guys are in the same boat, that's better. If you guys are in separate boats, first date, separate boats, not a great idea. It can be a C, it can be a D. Um, shit. If you guys have already been together, definitely an A because it's so different that it, it it's so different and it takes so much effort that they might just love that in general, that it took so much effort. renting the kayak, all this other stuff, the gear, whatever. I could give that a B plus or an A tier. This is a pretty big commitment. Some people get seasick or are scared of water because they can't swim. So it's really not for everyone. Nice. If, however, they happen to love water sports, then it can be great. You get to sightsee while having plenty of time talking to each other when you're on water. But because it's so niche, I'm putting it into the high B tier. And then we got camping or going on a road trip. Both of these are huge time. Bro, you're going to do both? Okay, road trip? Shit, bro. She got to trust you to go on a freaking road trip for the first date. Um, First date, road trip, bro. C. C or B. C or B or D. C, D, B. But I'm going to lean with C. First date. You guys already been together? You want to go to Doi Intadon? Doi Intadon is far away. It's in Thailand. Um, it's a super huge mountain. I got to climb up it, whatever. Uh, shit, bro. That could be a, that could be, it depends on if you like road trips on top of that. I personally don't like, like driving more than two hours, um, even with the music, whatever. But if you love it, uh i guess you could put this in the in the b tier up to up to s tier depending on if you guys both really like actually going places like across your country can be an s right you're gonna be problems with the car you're gonna need to get gas uh, navigating music so it could be an s or it could go all the way down to a c uh, i don't know there's so much stuff in there camping okay you agree to go to the woods on the first date with somebody you never met um you're agreeing to do that, then you're probably, it's probably B tier, probably B tier. It's different. Um, it's definitely interesting on a first date. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of trust. So B or a C you guys have been together, uh, camping. That's different. Um, it goes out the way it could be it's considered romantic. So that could be, that could be an A tier. Um, Definitely. Time commitments that require a lot of trust. So, so they're only viable into. much later on in a relationship. If you do go, it can be quite fun, but you have to make sure you plan ahead and bring a ton of things bro. to do. 
it's very memorable and great at building rapport because you're basically surviving Stuck together. In the car. So I'm placing it in the low A tier because it's such you're a gonna huge put them commitment. Both. I wouldn't put them both. Then the we same. got laser tag. This is something that laser I'm laser tag. Okay, that one's um, competitive, but it's not just you and her. It's you, her, and some randoms, right? So when it comes to an actual date, first a date, um, it's interesting. It's different. Maybe she's never done it before. But to actually build chemistry between you and her, it's not going to be that big of a thing. This is something you do later on, right? Uh, for a first date, I would give it, um, I give it like a C. Uh, if you guys have already been together, this is definitely still like the same thing. You guys are barely talking to each other. You might see each other. It's a dark room and you're shooting lasers at you. So it's super dark. Whatever your people are running around, kids are running around, um, can fluctuate really. But I would have to say, if you guys have been together, this is probably like a B tier. Nothing's it, it's different, right? It's different, but you don't get to actually conversate on this date of laser tag. Love doing. It's a lot of fun, but it's a pretty big ask for first date. You're basically Facts. running around nonstop for 15 Facts. minutes, and most people are simply not trying to get sweaty on a first date. The great thing is that these are usually located in malls, so there's a ton of flexibility, to and do it's after, memorable yeah. because it's you and your partner but we're talking about against like the world. Laser tag. It's not even you and her against the world. It's you against her. But again, it's not that great for a first this date, a team so I'm putting it. And you guys might not even get on the same team unless you ask, and they might be like, no. In the low <laughs> A tier. Then we got three date ideas that are all very similar. Watching a sunset, hanging out on a rooftop, and stargazing. All three of these are great ways to going um this is the first day we're not talking about ending bro we're talking about this is the first date hey you want to go out and you're gonna you want to watch the sunset first date you want to watch the sunset you want to go look at the stars um i'm gonna have to say even though it's romantic it's cool for a first date this is honestly like c tier bro this is c tier it's getting late for you to see the stars and shit like that uh, you're probably out somewhere away from the city for you to actually see the stars because of light pollution. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a C. All of these are a C for a first date. All of them C for the same exact reason. Ain't really shit to do after that besides go inside the house or go home or go somewhere late at night um, or getting close to late at night for the sunset one. So overall, like C, like all of these are C. They're cool, they're romantic, but first date, I mean, you guys are talking a lot, holding hands, maybe um, conversating and looking at the environment, being outside C tier. It's not terrible, but for a first date, it is, it's like, fuck. <laughs> in a relationship, way, way, way better, different. Relationship wise, this is honestly A to S tier. You can create some long lasting memories and bonding through doing this activity in a relationship. So I could give it an S tier or an A tier in a relationship for a first date. Hell no. The end of date, but they shouldn't Absolutely be the only not. thing that you do on a date. They're more like a cherry on top. Yeah, so I'm placing exactly. them all in the B tier if they are the only yeah, thing that you D do. Tier. But if you stack them with anything else on this list, then they would jump up to a higher tier. Bro, you're, you're confusing the shit out of me, bro. You're confusing the shit out of me. First, you were talking about relationship and then just doing it by itself. And then and you're talking about the club. You're like, oh, it's a, it's a good thing to do um, after you guys have already done stuff together. Like, bro, what the fuck? Make up your mind. Next up, we got a random tour in a city. This is only fun if either one of you is not a local. A random tour in the city. You guys have both never met each other. Uh, it's definitely interesting. It's definitely fun. Uh, first date. You guys don't know where the fuck everything is unless you're using Google, uh, Google Maps or whatever. Um, if, you're pl if you planned out this random trip to the city, it can be less exciting because you pretty much know where everything is going to be like if you're like oh there's a 7-eleven a mile away but this also includes like walking around if you're going through the entire city like you're taking taxis and stuff going to random places on a first date i mean it's definitely interesting it's definitely different there's a lot of shit you can do if you're going through the whole city right i guess c or a b tier because it is a time commitment you're going through the whole city as a relationship hey Babe, I just uh, let's go to Prague. I've never been to Prague before. Let's go to Prague. We land in Prague. We put our stuff in the hotel. All right, let's go sightsee. Sure, absolutely a tier. Could be an S tier. You don't know where you're at. You don't know who these people are. You don't know who's watching you. You don't know who wants something from you. 
So they should turn into a D real fucking fast. <laughs> because, well, That's locals don't really get excited out. going always, to well-known. Uh, not paranoid, but I'm always watching. You never know. Yeah, everybody thinks it's all sweet. There was just four people that went to Mexico trying to get cosmetic surgery. Two of them are dead, right? You, you think it's all sweet until it's not. On tour sites in their own city. Overall, this is a decent date idea because it's pretty flexible and it gives you a ton of time to build rapport. But because it's usually such a big time commitment, I'm putting it All in the day, high bro. B tier. All day. Then we got doing a puzzle together. This is a very casual date idea that you- Putting a puzzle together is a great idea to figure out where you guys both lie in and uh, problem solving and critical thinking and shit like that. So on a first date, but it's kind of like, it, it's different, but it's like kind of boring. If you're like, hey, you want to come over and uh, create this puzzle with me? She says yes. It's like, I mean, it could be a B, it could be a C, or it could be an A if they like puzzles that much. But as a first date, I wouldn't do this shit. I would give this a C. I would not do this for a first date, guys. Um, but you can. If you really love puzzles, like, if that is your passion, I, I'm not judging you if it's your passion. I'm judging you if you do this for a first date. If it's your passion, sure, go fucking go for it, man. Tell her to come over here and help you with this 5,000 piece puzzle. Okay, have fun. You're going to be doing that shit for a couple hours. She might get tired of it. If it's a short puzzle, 200 pieces, I don't know how long is a 200 piece puzzle. Probably like an hour, maybe two hours. I don't know. But it depends on how big the puzzle is. On a first date, like I said, this is going to be like a C tier, brother. Uh, a relationship, want to come over here and do a puzzle with me? It's probably a B tier. Uh, it's not crazy. It's not exciting. It can be. Uh, for a relationship, it can be. It can be an A, but I don't think this is going in S tier. I don't think any woman in their life, they're like, oh, I remember the time you made me come over and we did a puzzle. No. It usually occurs at someone's house, so it requires that level of rapport to pull off. It's very casual, but kind of boring, so it's definitely something for later on in a relationship when you've run out of stuff to do together. It does give you something nice that you can hang up on the wall, though. But I'm still going to have to place this into the- People hang the puzzle up on the wall? Bro, I just break that shit in half, throw it back in the box. Bro, B tier. And then we have going to a concert or rave. Now- Bro, okay, going to a concert. Okay, you can afford tickets to this concert first date. I mean, it's the same with the sports event, except she might not like- um, You could say she might not like the team, whatever. Um, but it's different when it's a sports team. When you, whenever you're in the uh, uh, stadium of sports, it's competitive. There's a competitive energy, which is different. It brings out a totally different beast than everybody liking the same music. I've been to concerts on first dates. I didn't enjoy the music at all, but I'm pretending and like, oh, yeah, 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 but it's like not that fun, right? So I've been on the, the receiving hand of a, a, a not fun concert on a first date. First date, it could go from a, a, a C all the way up to an S. If this is like an amazing concert, you both love it. Well, not even an S, bro. Like an A. I'm not even going to cap. This could be even. I don't care if the concert is fun as shit. What are you going to do after that? You're going to go eat. You don't really eat in the concert unless it's like a multi-day thing and it's big as hell like Rolling Loud or Burning Man or some shit like that. As a one, one, one night concert, whatever. Nah, bro. Like this is like a, this can go from a, a, a this honestly can go from like a C to a A. I don't think you can go to S. I don't really think it would go to D because it still is a concert. So there's still some engagement with it. Um, later on in a relationship, definitely S tier. Definitely S tier, definitely A tier. This is a popular thing to do as a couple nowadays, but usually much later on in a relationship because you can't really talk at a concert or rave, but you can yeah, you dance together. It's also not for everyone because you have to enjoy large crowds. Although sure. there is this magical feeling of being one with the crowd that usually occurs, which is nice. Overall, if you're both lyrics. into a certain type of music, it can be fun. So I'm putting it in the low A tier because although it's niche, it is quite common for people to like stuff like this. Next up, we got biking. This is a somewhat casual thing you can do. Biking on a first date, you want to go biking with me. It's, the same, it's almost the same as saying, hey, you want to go to the gym with me. It all just depends. But let's say she said, yeah, let's go biking. How long is the distance? What's on the biking trip? Is it just biking for exercise? Are you on the tandem bike? Are you guys on the same bicycle? Is it on different bikes? The only time you can really talk is if you guys stop and get like a drink or a hot dog or whatever. Whatever's in the area, coffee, whatever. But biking together, 
I mean, biking together on the road could be, that could be cool. Um, but overall, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a C. Or there is a time commitment. Biking, it takes time. It's an exercise, and it makes, but it's a C or a B. Relationship wise, this could be a B up to an A. But maybe an S. But I'll just. You both rent some bikes and bike around the city. This allows you to be pretty flexible because you can visit multiple spots and do yep. different things like eat or sightsee. If you plan out a few time. locations to go to, then this can be quite the enjoyable date. So it I'm putting it in the mid A tier. Then we have that thing went from reasonable to what have a trampoline <laughs> park. For those of you that don't, a trampoline park is fire, but at the same time, it's an exercise and it's multiple people there on top of it. Um, there can be some bonding, but after like the, you know, unless it's like one of those uh, parks where there's like so many different type of um, like challenges and stuff like that you can do. I don't really see the team bonding in it. I see more just like leisurely, hey, let's jump around and tramp talk to each other. Sit down on the trampoline and talk um, for a first date. This could be a B uh, for a relationship. Go from a B, C or an A, honestly know what this is basically it's a giant facility filled with trampolines that you jump up and down on it's sort of fun you can do backflips and jump into yeah, foam yeah, pits you yeah, also yeah. have plenty of time to build rapport and talk yeah. as you explore the different parts of the park i usually see these in malls which is great for flexibility what damn bro you got some good ass mind never seen this in the mall you have to actually go to the trampoline park now i wouldn't do this for a first date but from the second date onwards it does seem all right so overall i'd put it in the low a tier this man has the best malls and he lived next to a beach. This guy got to be in there. Next up, we got hiking. This is enjoyable if you and your partner like nature. Hiking. Yeah, you guys both have to like nature. Hiking is an exercise. It takes longer um, than biking. And overall, uh, you know, risk the injury and shit like that. But a first date, you want to go hiking. It's different. Um, but if she's not in exercise, let's say she is because she said yes. Um, I can see this being a B because once you get to the top of any hike, it's usually worth it. Usually, it's usually worth it. It's just getting up there. There's a lot of time to talk, but after that, you know, there's nothing really there. So I, uh, maybe C, but um, hiking, I think it's fine for a first date. It, it's okay. You know, it's fine. You can do other shit after that. Um, but <laughs> what if you don't like her on the way up and then it's like on the way down, she's guys still like talking about stuff you don't enjoy, but relationship wise, you want to go hiking. I can see it being a B or an A, I guess. Sure. But it does require a fair amount of the trust because you're going into trust. the wilderness together. It's also quite the time commitment. So it's not something I would do early on in a relationship. So overall, I'm putting it in the high B tier. Then we got something interesting, which is sleeping over in a unique place. Where okay, okay, going somewhere, um, sleep somewhere unique. Um, that, bro, that's time commitment. Trust. Uh, expensive, usually. I guess uh, a beat here. I mean, you're going there to go to sleep or go over there and talk and sleep and, or go over there and talk and fuck. Not a first, first date thing. First date, C tier. Um, relationship wise, A tier, maybe S. I don't really think so, but um, definitely can be high up there on the relationship. Where you book a strange Airbnb, a haunted apartment, or something along haunted those apartment. lines. Of Y'all course, crazy. since you're sleeping together, it's not something you can do early on in a relationship, but it can lead to very memorable experiences and loads of fun, depending on how interesting the place is. Because it can be hard to find a worthwhile spot, I'm putting it into the B tier. Then we have volunteering, where you work together to help others out. It's filled. Um, volunteering on a date, it's not bad. Um, whenever you do volunteer, usually like the community recognizes you, and maybe they'll give you like discounts or something free, like a free ice cream, like that from the ice cream man. But volunteering on a first date. Uh, it, it sounds like you were going to go volunteer and then you're like, hey, you want to come do it with me? So overall, like a, a C, C tier for volunteering in a relationship, a relationship, you want to go volunteer, do something different for the community. 
it's, it's work. You're, you basically say, I'm going to go do extra work on our date. I think that's even in a relationship, that's like a C tier event. Filled with good vibes, but it's not something I would do early on in a relationship because it's quite the You're time commitment and the work. focus is on others and not you and your partner. Yeah. But it is a nice way to You're spend the day if the two other. of you enjoy helping others out. Overall, I'm putting this into the low B tier as it is a very niche idea. And finally, we have golf. mini golf, which. Okay, <laughs> I thought it was real golf. Okay, mini golf. Mini golf is fun. Mini golf is usually, um, there's usually like food and drinks at the mini golf stand and stuff like that. Overall, though, mini golf is fun, but it's a challenge. Um, it's competitive. And at the same time, it, it's the same as bowling in the fact that if she doesn't like it, you're not going to do something. Cr it's not going to be crazy. Do enjoy it. Then, yeah, cool. As a relationship, I like mini golf, but even as a relationship, I think high B or low A would be where I would put mini golf. Um, as a brand new date, it could be a C tier. Um, it could also be an A or a B. Um, it could also go down to D. So I, I think it all depends. So that's why I'm going I'm to go ahead and say C tier for the mini golf. Which is a fun, and casual date idea. Not a huge Damn, time bro. commitment. And depending on where it's located, it can be quite flexible. There's a ton of time to chat Bro, while playing, which is great for the board. So this can be a good choice. You better put it in the same spot you put bowling because this is the same shit. Choice for first or second date, which is why I'm putting it into the A tier. Okay. And that's it. Go. We just went over 40 that's different like. date ideas. I know some of you may not agree with my rankings, but hope. Oh, fuck. No, I don't, bro. I don't even like the way you rank this shit, but it was a good video. So that's why I hit it with the like button. Okay. That was longer than I expected. Um, it's a 20 minute video and I turn it to an hour. Fuck, man. Anyways, it was fun. I am not doing this shit ever again. Uh, I am not making a tier list. Just go back and listen to whatever I said. And hopefully that helps you guys either find your partner or get some cheeks. Whichever you want to do, it's fine by me. I don't really care. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace.